Hey guys, I'm Adi. Welcome back to the series. Uh, so last time we took care of our footer and we registered the menus and we finished the header.php uh, file. Uh, today it's time to introduce the loop. Now this is used to display posts and um, before we do that we actually need some posts. Uh, to display. Since this is the standard fresh installation of WordPress, we just have one post. Yeah, it's this hello world post. So what I'll do is uh, you need to go to theme to codex.wordpress.org slash theme unit test. Now this is something that's used for theme testing before, uh, you know, being submitted to uh, to WordPress as a theme yes so uh, the first step is to download the test data it's uh, an XML file and it will contain a bunch of uh, posts um, categories tags and uh, pages so go ahead and download it I uh, already uh, done so I already downloaded the file and then go to uh, tools import uh, choose WordPress. You need to install a, a small plugin here. So, okay. Activate plugin and run importer. Okay, choose the file. Um, you, I have mine on uh, desktop. And upload file and import. Okay, and also uh, we have some new authors there. I'm just going to leave it like that and choose download and import file attachments and I'm going to click submit. Okay. Uh, we it seems it uh, failed to import some media, but for now it's uh, it's fine. All right, so now if we look at the posts, we have a bunch of posts here. Um, some with a bunch of categories, some with a very long title, uh, some with uh, you know post formats, uh, galleries, and um, some even uh, drafts. Uh, sticky posts, all the stuff that we need to test our theme to make sure it displays properly. In our case, we just needed a couple of uh, posts uh, to see how the loop works. Okay, so let's open up Coda and inside index.php, I'm going to delete this line and let's open up index.html and we're going to grab the main content, yes, including the sidebar. Copy everything until the footer and paste it in. All right, so now if we uh, refresh, we can see that it looks like a functional WordPress uh, theme. The only problem is this is static content. So let's see how we can make that dynamic. First of all, let's get rid of that sidebar. So we'll select all the widgets. Okay. And we'll delete them. And we're going to do PHP get sidebar. And that's going to load a default sidebar. Now this looks awful because it's not styled accordingly. Uh, once we get to the styling bit, it's going to look much better. Okay, um, so now let's worry about the articles. Okay, so each article is contained in an article tag. Yes, so this right here is one article. And this is the separator. So let's keep that first one and delete the rest. Okay. 
All right. And let's begin the loop. Now I must say everything we put inside the loop will um, repeat for each post that is displayed. Okay, so with that said, the loop looks something like this. Uh, if we're checking if we have posts, then we'll do while we have posts, we'll do the post. Okay, so have posts, uh, it's a function that checks whether or not we have uh, any posts to display. So if we have them, while we still have posts to display, we'll load the next post. Okay, so right here we'll say display the post. We're gonna close the while. Okay. And then we're gonna say if we don't have posts, so this else refers to this if. Okay, so if we don't have any posts, uh, we'll do a simple like h1 and we'll do we'll echo something like no posts were found. Okay. And then we'll close the if. Okay, and that's it guys. That is the loop. So let's see it in action. Okay, so display to post, display to post, display to post. Just as I said, uh, this one repeats a couple of times for each post that should be displayed. All right. Now, instead of this, we're going to put this. Yeah, the article and its separator. Okay, so for each post, we'll repeat some of this stuff. So let's begin with, with the first declaration. It's the article, it's the comments, yes? So the comments link. Obviously, this is just static. And we also want to show the comments link only if the comments are allowed for that uh, for the blog and that post is not password protected so delete this and let's do something like this so display the comments the comments link actually if comments are allowed and the post isn't password protected Okay, with that said, we'll start with this. If comments open, again, we're checking, and the, uh, the post isn't password protected, yes? So we'll say if not post password required. Okay, so if those two conditions um, are true then we'll do the comments link and that one is generated by a function and that function is comments pop-up link which takes a couple of parameters first one the text to be displayed if there are no comments in my case it's zero the text for a single comment. The third parameter is the text for multiple comments. In my case, I'll just put uh, the percentage sign, meaning that it, uh, only the number of comments will be uh, displayed. And finally, uh, the fourth 
parameter is uh, a class that can be applied to that specific link. So in my case, it's article meta uh, comments. I think that was correct. Let's see. Article meta comments. Yes. Great. Okay. Let's see it. Okay, so you can see immediately it's working because uh, this post uh, doesn't uh, support comments. The comments are closed. Okay, this one has one comment. Let's scroll down. All right. So let's see what else. The categories instead of the static link we're going to do the category okay and we can pass in an argument and that's going to be the separator between uh, the links between the categories yeah so i'm going to do a simple space uh, backslash or slash and space again. Okay, the next one is the article title. Now the link will be generated by WordPress. The permalink, which is just a link to to the um, to the post, and then the title. Yes. Okay. Uh, what else? Article meta extra. All right. This contains uh, the date. So we're going to do this. Instead of using the date, I'm going to use the time to also get the time. And we can specify a date format. Now, instead of writing it by hand, why don't we get the uh, the date from the WordPress backend, which is uh, this one in settings? Okay, so date format. So in order to get this value, we can use get option, which is a function used to return any value specified in uh, the WordPress backend. Yeah. So get option, and I'm going to do date format. All right. And lastly, it's the author link. So go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to do PHP again, the author posts link. Okay, let's see it. So as you can see, we have the categories uh, and they are separated by that slash. And I think I want some, uh, some more spacing there like that. Okay. And then we have the uh, post names and then the, um, the date and also the author. Okay. Let's see, readability image, post format gallery. All right, looks pretty good so far. Uh, next, let's tackle this uh, article thumbnail. Yeah. So we only want to show a thumbnail if the post has a thumbnail. Yeah. So we're going to say PHP if has post thumbnail. You can see that these functions are just really easy to remember once you use them once or twice. So if we have a post thumbnail, we're going to do figure class article preview image. Uh, the href for the image 
for the link uh, should be the permalink. So we'll say the permalink and the source of the image. Actually, we can delete the whole image tag uh, because we will do PHP the post thumbnail. All right. So that will show any uh, you know, thumbnail that we set to, to the posts. Right now we didn't set anything, but uh, we will. So we'll check back once we, uh, we do that. Okay, what else? We got the post thumbnail. And finally, we need to do the content. So I'm just gonna say the content. And you can use it like this or you can pass in uh, an argument. And that is the text for the read more link. In my case, it's gonna be read more and this. Now also, since we're you know preparing our theme for translation, why don't we mark this read more text for translation? So I'm gonna do this. Mm-hmm, looks pretty good. So let's see it. There it is, read more. All right, and that's it actually for the loop. As you can see, um, really easy to use. And with just a few lines of, uh, of code, we got all of our um, all of our posts uh, displayed, post format gallery, and all the other stuff. All right, uh, that's it for this video. In the next one, I'll show you uh, a quicker a quick a quicker way to use the loop uh, to show various uh, post formats. So to show posts with different post formats. Uh, this is fine, but there is even a more elegant solution. So uh, thank you for watching this one. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.